Usman. I'm a technologist, strategist, and an architect. In today's video, I would like to go over a very commonly asked question regarding the role of the architects in IT and the differences behind it. I have seen a lot of confusion when it comes to defining and understanding the role of an IT architect and the titles associated with their day-to-day -day work. Each organization defines uh, the titles and the roles uh, differently as they see fit. But for the sake of having a common understanding around similar job functions, we'll use commonly available titles for architecture work in IT. We'll define and compare the roles of enterprise architects, segment architects, solution architects, and technology architects. Among these roles, segment architect is the least common one and um, also sometimes get confused with the business architect, which could be a totally different thing. There could be some edge cases and specialized targeted roles, but based on my personal experience, uh, most organizations either use these roles or derivatives of these roles. In order to understand these roles, I'll be going over different areas that these roles should be performing in. We'll go over scope, uh, areas of focus, stakeholders, level of details, deliverables that these uh, roles normally produce. Let's start with scope. Each organization has different functions and these functions are divided in different departments or uh, business units along with the hierarchies where with different levels of management and staff. The scope of enterprise architects is generally across different functions, uh, departments or programs. Their duties revolve around documenting, analyzing, evaluating changes, and how these changes can affect uh, the organization overall. Uh, they're concerned about putting together the artifacts that could be used to make uh, informed strategic decisions, but on the enterprise level. They also interact with other architects and look for common uh, patterns and standards that could or should be used across the enterprise. The segment architects, these architects are closer to the business areas than they are with the IT and the IT management. Their primary duties are to build the layers of architectures um, of their respective business units. They work with enterprise architects to advocate and leverage common frameworks and approaches to build those layers, uh, but their scope again lies across different initiatives under one program area or depart department or uh, the business units. The solution architects are closer to the technology than the other two mentioned before. Uh, their role is scoped to usually one initiative or solution and all the technologies uh, that are being used to build that solution. Their duties are to use industry best practices and implementation strategies because these are the people who see how different components and technologies would work together to create a solution that serves today's and immediate future needs. As you can guess, uh, the technology architects are entrenched into a particular technology uh, with having proficient uh, knowledge and experience. These architects have expertise in using the technology in a best possible way. In other words, they understand the ins and outs of a particular technology and how it could be leveraged to solve business problems. Let's talk about areas of focus. Uh, any organization makes decisions and recommendations based on uh, their strategic, uh, their tactical, uh, or their operational needs. For the enterprise architects, the areas of focus is more the most strategic and tactical to some extent. They are not included or should not be included into the day-to-day -day operational stuff. They can be provided the operational information to help support the tactical and then strategic queries, but that's not their primary areas of concern. For a segment architect, their focus is mainly on the segment they own. Um, they're mostly involved in the strategic discussion of a particular business areas. They are also involved in the tactical areas, but not so much um, around the operational stuff. Solution architects are more operational than 
segment in Enterprise Architects, uh, but they also have some piece of pie to inform the strategic decisions and assist Enterprise Architects and Segment Architects to make uh, strategic recommendations. Technology Architects are operational to the core. Their expertise keep them close to solving operational issues uh, that the team faces. And they are the people uh, usually consulted as uh, the technology experts. Stakeholders. Like I said, there are different levels and hierarchies in any organization. And when we understand these roles, we also need to understand the type of stakeholders that these architects interact with in their day-to-day -day work. As you have seen, the scope of enterprise architects is across uh, the organization. They are expected to work with uh, different program managers, uh, the leadership of different departments, uh, and the senior leadership of IT as well as the IT managers. Additionally, they also work with other type of architects. Their purpose is to inform and take into account various needs of different programs and departments and use that information to develop enterprise-wide standards and guidance. For segment architects, uh, just because their scope is limited to a business unit, they do have the visibility across all the initiatives under that one business unit that they own or segment, if you will. These architects not only work with business leadership, managers, but also business users and other potential stakeholders, which can impact the business area, um, that, which could be uh, the external partners or external stakeholders. Solution architects do provide some briefings to the management, but their work is closely with the business managers, users, and IT. Their role requires them to interact uh, with business managers and users to understand the problem at hand and at the same time to work with the technical teams um, to implement the best possible way to solve the problem and others in IT to ensure that solution has gone through all the checks and balances of IT and if there are some governance processes around it, they're also addressed as a part of developing that solution. They also work with the project managers to facilitate some of that work. Technology architects mostly deal with the technical staff. Uh, so developers, uh, project managers, and solution architects are uh, the other roles that these architects interact with. Now let's talk about the attention to detail. Uh, different type of details matter to these roles. For an enterprise architect, they are very high level and are concerned about documenting, analyzing, evaluating and putting together the standards and guidance uh, or the different artifacts that could be applied across the organization. But they do require sufficient visibility that could be used to support uh, the decision making and to minimize the risks of introducing more complexities and redundancies. This role requires them to document, evaluate, observe and communicate the change or set of changes that they see coming their way um, that could impact uh, the major functions or processes of one particular segment uh, that these architects own. Solution architects pay special attention to how the solution is put together, uh, how it behaves and interacts with other solutions in the environment. Solution architects also make sure that uh, the solution meets functional and the non-functional requirements. Additionally, they also make sure that the architecture is well suited to meet the current and immediate future demands with keeping an eye on minimizing the technical debt and guiding the team through different phases of uh, SDLC. Technology architects ensure how to use the technology in a certain environment. They have deeper knowledge and expertise in a given technology and sometimes even in the related set of technology. Deliverables. All architects are expected to produce artifacts, documents, and work products. Enterprise architects create deliverables of strategic types, such as target state architecture, uh, organizational blueprints, roadmaps, uh, business capability models, reference models, anything that could be leveraged on the enterprise level. 
Segment architects create artifacts for a particular segment, such as baseline or target state architecture of the segment, uh, models and views that represent um, segments, processes, and functions. One of my favorite model to do some solution architecture is to use 4C model. Um, and solution architects create those um, artifacts, such as context diagram, container class, uh, activity diagrams, uh, software high-level designs, and other artifacts like that. Technology architects create detailed technical design. The examples of uh, those designs could be network architecture, uh, software detail design, uh, and component uh, interface design. To summarize what we have learned so far in this video, enterprise architect is someone who has organization or enterprise in mind when they create their work products. On the other hand, segment architect is very much focused into their own segment. Uh, the segment could be referred to as business units or um, programs. Solution architects are the people who have visibility into a one or few initiatives of a given segment, but they do not have a hands-on knowledge for a given technology. And for that, they use the experience of the technology architect. Now for a smaller organization, it could be just that one person be doing all those functions but for a major and large organization, these roles are distinctly defined and they should be treated as such. So that was it. I hope this information was useful to you. And if you would like me to cover some other topics, please comment below and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.